Hello and welcome to the second part of my Krita Basics training. Today in this episode we are going to take a look at digital brushes. How do they work? Then we are going to take a look at resources in Krita. Later we will check the general brush settings and we will learn how to create new brushes. The first question is that what are digital brushes? They are nothing more than repetition of a nib, or just call it stamp, plus different kind of settings in the software. There are different kind of brush engines too, but today we are going to check only the pixel based easy to create brushes. For the easier understanding of how things work here, I changed a bit the order of this list because we will start first with creating a new brush and later we will just check the resource system and how does it work. We just open Krita and we will create a new brush. Let's start it. We will create two different documents here. The first will be used for creating a brush nib. It shouldn't be a big file. It can be a simple texture 500 by 500 that's sufficient. The other file is going to be something where we can test it, let's say A3 and 300 ppi. It must be sufficient. Brushes in Krita can be found up here with the edit brush settings and you can open and close the presets window. You can adjust this view as you wish. For example, if you want to see only thumbnails, then you can switch off the details. Or we can simply turn them on. And you can set the icon size for your taste. These are the preloaded brushes with Krita. But for now, we are going to create a brand new brush from scratch. So let's see what we are going to do. We want a special nib that we create as a predefined nib for our brush. We want to set the opacity, the flow and the size of the brush must change with pressure control. And of course we want to do some texture of the brush because we do like the brushes that look like pencil for proper sketching. So at first we are going to create a brush nib. We use the 500 by 500 pixels canvas to do it and we are going to choose some other brush to create this nib. We will use only black and white to create this stamp. And you can do almost anything you want to create a nib. You will see how to adjust it later for your taste. I just created this kind of funny shape here. How can we create a brush nib from here? At first, do not forget to isolate the layer of the painting from the background because we only want to use the painted area and we do not want to use the background. Then we go back to the brushes and settings and we are going to create a new pixel based brush with this icon. It won't appear in this list at this point because we did not save it as a new brush, brush preset. But we have the basics for configuration. So as I said, we would like to use this nib for the new brush. So at the brush tip, we will choose the predefined nib and we are going to use the stamp that we have created. Here is the name 
of the brush tip. Let's call it our first nib. You do not change anything other configuration here. You can just simply click OK and you see we have this brush nib now for this brush. Now the following configuration will set the opacity. Opacity just adjust how opaque you can go with your brush. It can be controlled by pen pressure or you can just turn it off and it will be opaque. I personally like to use the opacity for pen pressure. The flow is the amount of pixels that the brush will just put on the canvas. It can be turned off or turned on. At this point it won't really affect our brush. The really interesting part will be the texture that we will use because we want to choose a pattern and we are going to use a predefined pattern from Krita for now but you can add any kind of textures to your Krita brushes if you want. I am going to look for some grainy creamy texture. I kinda like this one that was the default so it is going to be the base of our brush. Let's save it as a preset for now. I'm going to call it Tamash's new brush and I'm going to load an icon for this from the library because it is going to be something like a charcoal or a grainy creamy pastel pencil I'm going to use this icon for now. And here we have all the settings that we need for a new Krita brush. I'm going to save it now and it must appear somewhere in the brushes library. Of course because I'm filtering for the sketch I won't see it but if I check the all brushes then the filter is not present and I will see the new brush somewhere in the list. Hold on. It was here. Tamesh's new brush. So we choose this and check it at the new file we created. Let's see. Oh yes. It is just like graphite or charcoal. As I promised at the beginning of this video, I'm going to show you what is a digital brush. I will simply just increase the spacing of this brush nib and as you see this is just simple stamps of this brush nib. If I try to draw with this setting you will see every individual nib but when I pull it together it is going to be thick you will see that it changes to something else. And as you see, as I turned on the pressure sensitivity for opacity and size, it behaves like a pencil. I can just draw very little tiny lines or I can go just dark and hard. And now as we have created a brush with our own settings and own nib, let's see what else can we do. At the very beginning you will notice that there is a triangle 
with an exclamation mark next to this brush name. It means that you have changed the default settings of this brush and if you click on this icon then you will reload the brush preset to that point where you have saved it. If you want to change something permanently, for example, let's say rise the brush nib size of the default setting, then you will have to click on the override brush. In this case, it will be the default and if you change it back, you will see the exclamation mark, but you can go back to the original state. Let's go through this brush settings window just very quickly. I forgot to mention that if you do any changes on the brush, you can test it on the scratch pad. I increased the size of this brush by a very large number, so it's huge, but we can adjust it just to look better. And for now, I will just simply override the brush and use this. We have seen the brush tip settings and we use the predefined one. By the way, here is the preloaded brush nib settings for Krita and we can add or import any kind of brush nibs we want to use. I let it for you to experiment with it. The blending modes are similar like the blending modes of the layers. You can set the blending mode of an individual brush nib instead of the layer. As I said the opacity means how opaque the brush nib is going to be and the flow means how much pixels you want to deliver on the canvas. We are not going to go through the other settings for now because this tutorial should be beginner friendly and uh, we could stay here and uh, spend hours and hours configuring brushes but uh, I let it for you to experiment with it and now we are going to look at the possibilities how to backup and share brushes you have created. So currently Krita's resources are in two different places at least from an end user's view. There are the original resources shipped by Krita and there are resources that you have created. You can check them and manage them via the settings and manage resources link. Here you will find every imported active bundles. You can create new ones or export them, import them. But more importantly, you can open the resource folder on your personal computer and it will jump into the right directory where are all of your custom settings and stuff. Here you will find everything that you have created, for example the brush nibs, or in the paint top preset, here will be the brush preset. If you back up this directory, then you will have a working copy of your Krita settings all the time. But you can create a bundle of your predefined and created brushes here with create a new bundle. And the bundle name for example here will be my first bundle. The description will be bundle for Krita beginners real and I am the author and here be careful because 
we have to add the brush nib and the preset to the bundle because if you forget one or the other then it is going to be missing and you won't be able to import it uh, properly so don't forget that you have the brush nib and the brush preset as a separate file on the disk and you can save the bundle this way and you see here is my first bundle you can export it and you can import it on different computers or you can share it now as I created this bundle if I open the resources folder then I will see this bundle here so I can move it to other computers easily and as I showed you before here are the brush stamps as we exported the brushes and in the paint of presets there are the presets the settings for the brushes that we have exported as well they valid together if one just missing then it won't work thank you very much for staying with me and watching this video if you liked it just don't forget to click on the like button and of course you can subscribe anytime you want to my channel in the next video we are going to talk about layers a bit in Krita. Thank you very much for your attention.